Goedemorgen graag teams, ons is terug bij waarschijnlijkheid, probability and today we gaan look at the complement, the intersection and the union of um, events in a Venn diagram. Onthou, ons het gesê wanneer ons trendjie steken van waarschijnlijkheid, dan noem ons dit Venn diagram. So as ons nou gaan kyk na die volgende, dan sien ons dat binnen in hier die steekproefruimte is daar een gebeurtenis al. In die gedeelte wat jy vroeg gearsheer het, is alles wat nie in A is. And this is now the complement of A. Alles wat nie in A is nie, is die complement van A. Terminology. Kom ons kyk na die tweede ding wat jy moet ken. The interception. Or the intersection of two events, A en B, daar waar hulle mekaar snuid, noem ons die snijding, die intersection, dit is A en B. Iets is in A en in B. Dan, die derde ding, is die vereniging of the union of two events. As A en B verenig, beteken dit, hulle smelt saam, so it's A or B. Anything that's in A or B, that's the union. En dan is dit al twee wat ek inkleef. Kom, ons gaan kyk na voorbeeld. Ons het hier een steekproefruimte A tot by A. We hebben gehad een event A, A to E, en een event B, D tot H. En die eerste vraag wat hier gevraag word, is stel dit in een Venn diagram voor. Goed, kom, ons gaan teken, ons steek sample space. Then we've got it, we've got an A, and we've got a B, so let's just quickly check if there's something that's in both. So I get a D and an E, what an all two is, so I deal it, so I can snide in here, because they share something. If you look at this, the D and E, it's been shared. Yes. Okay, so D and E, it's been shared. So dit is een snijding, en dit deel dit. En in A alleen is dan A, B en C, en in B is F, G en H, en dan moet ons gaan kyk, is daar ietsie wat oorgeblei het, A, B, C, D, E, F, G en H, nee, D, ja, nee, daar is niks wat oorgeblei het nie, so al die elemente is binnen die twee gebeurtenisse. So the next question now is, List all the outcomes that's not in A. List all the outcomes that are not in A. Now, we have to say that everything that is not in A is not in A. This is the arsier. So, everything that is not in A is not in A. It's going to be F, G, and H. Dit is alles wat nie in A is. Goed. Lees alles wat in A en B is. A en B. Ons lees alles in A en B. Dat is dat piece. Dit is net D en E. Ok. Nou, lees alles in A of B. A or B. It's going to be both of them, so it's going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. All the elements. Ok, die volgende vraag is nou, wat is die waarde van N nie A? Die aantal in nie A. The number of not A. So it equals 3. The number of A and B. It's going to be number of 2. And the number of A of B, the aantal in dit is 3, 6, 8. Ok. Now, the next question is determine the following. There's a whole list of things to determine. Let's write it down. The number of me, A, N, B. Right, that's the first one. Then, the next one, the probability 
of not A and B. Right? Then we've got the number of not A or B and then the probability of ni or of beer and dan gaan ons hier aan die waarschijnlijkheid van ni or of ni beer and the last one the probability of not a and not b okay let's go quickly work through those and make sure that we understand these things thoroughly. Good. Come on, Kijk. Okay. The number of not A and B. Okay. So, A and B, let's look at this, A and B is those two. So, not in A and B, not in A and B is going to be 6 out of 6. It's 6, not A and B, it's going to be 6. Um, what's important here, before we go on, is to read it from the left to the right. So, let's read it from the left to the right, otherwise you're going to do it wrong. You first do not A. So, let's write down not A. Okay? Not A is going to be everything that's there. So, not A equals F, G, H. And B, B is going to be D, E, F, G, and H. So now, what's the intersection between these two? The intersection between these two is going to be the number of is going to be 3. Very important. That is what we want to do. Ons lees het van links naar rechts en dan doen ons die middelste ook. So kom ons gaan sê, not A and B. And now we need the probability. Because P is the probability. So the probability is the number of not A and B on the total number of elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 3 out of 5. Let's do this one. Not A or B. So not A or B means we must add them together. So ons gaan sê, hierdie plus hierdie is D, E, F, G, N, A. Dis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, want F, G, N, A is klaar daar. Stel hulle by mekaar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So dit is 5 of them. And now the probability is 5 out of 8. Very easy. Goed, graag dienst. Kom ons gaan kyk nou na nie A en nie B. Of nie A of nie B. So we've got not A. So let's do not B too. Not B is everything that's not in B. It's A, B, C. A, B, C. So if we've got an OR, we simply add the two together. Ons gaan sê nie A of, wat is nie A, of nie B. Daai en daai, so it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it's 6 out of 8. Want dit is 
waarschijnlijkheid. So dit is 3 op 4. Kijk, not I and not B. Kijk, not I, not B. Can you see an intersection? Because it's and. Daar die woordkie is 1. Kan jy sien dat daar iets is wat in al 2 is? Daar is niks in al 2 nie. So the probability is 0 out of 8. And that equals 0. That equals 0. Goed. Kom ons gaan kijk na nog een voorbeeld. Another example. Ek sien dit beveen daar ek rand weer ek kan at the right corner. Okay, let's read the scenario. On set Fucker in the trick group. Uh, that G is the geography, geography, and A is accounting, rekening kinder. Um, that's a, a school with grade 12 learners with accounting and geography. Rekening kinder and adres kinder of geography. Now, vrouwen, how many leaders neem geography and rekening kinder? Hoeveel leerders neem geografie en rekeningkunde? Can you see, there is 30 of them taking geography and accounting. Very easy. Next question. How many learners doesn't take geography or accounting? How many learners doesn't take any one of these two subjects? 90 learners on the outside of the events. Ten minste een van die vakke. How many learners does take at least one of the subjects? At least one means it's the 10, the 30 that takes 2, and the 20 that takes accounting. So it's 30 plus 20 plus 10. That's going to give me 60. At least 60. Or 60 takes at least one of the two subjects. Um, the last question. Hoeveel leerders vat geografie maar nie rekenkunde nie? Hoeveel leerders vat geografie maar nie rekenkunde nie? Only 10. Ok, only 10. Now, let's do the following. Let's get the probability of not accounting. The probability of geography of not accounting who dan die verschijnlijkheid van nie geografie en accounting the last one the probability of not geography and accounting. Now let's quickly work through these four. Good, kom ons gaan kyk. Waarschijnlijkheid van nie A. Kom ons gaan kyk. Hier is A. Daar is A. Alles wat nie in A is nie, is 90 plus 10. So dit is 100 leerders out of the total in the school. So the total in the school is going to be 150. 90 plus 10 plus 30 plus 20. So, the probability is going to be 2 thirds. Not accounting. Not accounting. Good. Let's go to this one. Geography. Let's look at geography. Geography, there's 40 of them that's taking geography. Not accounting. Not accounting. There is a hundred of them. A hundred of them. So, we add them together because it's an or. So that's going to give me. Okay, let's see. Geography. 
geography is 40 and not a county. It's going to be a hundred. Let's see, let's work through this quickly. Geography is this 40. But not a county is that 90 plus that 10. So it's a hundred out of 150. Again, it's two thirds. Let's go to this one. Not geography. So that's going to be that, that, and that, and A. So meaning that and that, the intersection with A is going to be 20 out of 150. And that gives me 250. In the last one, Wahrscheinlichkeit, probability, let's go to the, the interior brackets, G and A. G and A will be 30. Right? That is the Schneider. Nie, that nie is alles rondom dit. So dit gaan wees 90, 100, 120. A, 150. And that's going to be 4 out of 5. If you simplify it. Okay. Great things. Um, I'm going to be back just now with a, another example that I'm going to explain to you just after a sec.